What exactly would happen if Yogiri Takato faces opponents such as Rimuru and Goku and other broken characters in all of anime? If you really want to know what makes him truly broken, stick to the end, but... A lot of people in my comments have talked about this character, claiming that he beats all the top anime characters such as Rimuru, Goku, and so on. So exactly who is he? In my research I did for this video, I found out that he is truly one of the most broken characters in all of anime. His name is Yogiri Takato, and in his lines, he decides what death is. The anime is called Instant Death, and a bit of his backstory is that he is a high school student who got transported to another world by a woman named Sion. After abandoning his classmates, Yogiri found a friend, Tomochika, who decided to go out with him and explore the new world outside. Hoping to find a way back home, Yogiri has been shown to possess a special and powerful ability that can instantly kill anything he desires with a single thought. Despite his powerful ability, he is incapable of returning back home with it. But let's get on to how powerful he is. His main ability is called Instant Death, which allows him to kill anything with a single thought. He uses keywords such as die or you're an eyesore to activate the skill. It's been noted that how they die is fully depend on how he wants or thinks they should. Despite the name, the death doesn't have to be instantaneous if he doesn't wish it to be. Yogiri's perception of the world allows him to see any hostility directed at him or his allies or just plain hazards. And he uses this ability to track enemies he would not be normally capable of detecting, predicting their movement slash thought patterns or automatically retaliating with the activation of instant death. Moreover, his ability is beyond fate and time itself, and he was able to kill an entity with a higher plane of existence, who was beyond space and time altogether. His ability does not follow logic, transcends casualties. Things such as anti-magical barriers and so on wouldn't work against him because his abilities does not follow magic or anything related. Also, his power is limitless. He has partial killing, which Yogiri can kill specific limbs or organs of the target if he wants, such as their senses, looking, hearing, smelling, arms, legs, fingers, hands, and etc. Even if you cut off the affected limb and try to regenerate slash heal it, said limb will still be affected by his ability and thus will never work again, no matter what the target does. He has immortality negation, which allows him to bypass any types of immortality, such as regeneration, resurrection, and even someone who is already dead. He can bypass resistances and immunities, even spiritual beings aren't safe. He can even use his abilities on, on things such as inanimate objects, ideas, memories, gravity, and even kill and negate curses. Also, he is able to kill germs, making him essentially impervious to diseases. To sum all that up, he can kill anything. Now his biggest secret is that he constantly restrains his power within seals, also called gates, that are locked within his mind. By imagining them opening, he can release more of his power one by one. He does this in order to remain as human or seem as human as possible. And the thing that makes him most powerful is that Yogiri's true form is seemingly the embodiment of non-existence itself. This represents the end of all things, something that no one could ever hope to surpass, and the final destruction of all fate of which there is nothing beyond. With this, and even with his instant kill, he is truly one of the most broken characters. But this is for you all to debate too. Let me know what you think down below, and that's everything to know about Yogiri and how strong he is. Make sure to like, subscribe, and if you think somebody could win against him, comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.